So, all to look forward to uh, Lizzie and Richo. In the last tier, tough race. I thought Gentleman Roy had a pretty good chance. You've had a fantastic day at Caulfield. Been so pleasing, Richo, to see huge crowd there. And, of course, we've had a marvellous day here. I'm working on the votes, guys, so um, I don't need as much help today. <laughs> it's been absolutely superb, Bruce. Um, Caulfield's been great. You'll check out uh, some of the interviews that we've done uh, that haven't been on air. You can see them all on the 7 on 7 Plus and on the 7 Socials, including a great chat with Harry Coffey. He was really emotional, but he is a, a young champ. I think it's got to be one of the stories of the day. And then it was started also by Alex Ray having his first stakes victory. It's always these big days bring out the best stories. And Harry's been an absolute star. And what he's been able to face throughout his career has been nothing short of quite remarkable. And he's not a bush jockey. He's a top jockey now, and he's a Caulfield Cup winning jockey. And Buffalo River goes forward defending his crown. In fact, he's won this race on two occasions. Here's the Moonga. The field is set. Ready, and away they go. Zechariah from the inside draw jumped away well. And Aegon missed the start by two lengths. Ripcord began quickly with Globe and Coast Watch. And Gentleman Roy out wide with also Air Assault. It's so almost five across the track. Cosmic Vega behind that pack with Fierson. They were followed by the Pen Dragon on the outside of Zechariah. Back to midfield. Buffalo River sooling around the outside, as it likes to do, from Mighty Ulysses. And then came Dashing Pinstripe, two lengths Aegon. And ain't no deal done as last. Globe in front tried to slacken from air assault. Now, Gentleman Roy's three wide and Buffalo River four wide. So no piece of the 750. A length away, Ripcord Coast Watch. And then Cosmic Vega next in the field, the Pen Drag. And a length away, dashing mighty Ulysses, fierce and pinstriped. Well back in the field then is Zechariah from Aegon. And ain't no deal done. So Buffalo River tries to run them off their feet before the corner of the 450 from Globe still under a hold. And then Gentleman Roy Air assault under pressure ripcord behind them from cosmic vega and then came fierce and dashing pinstripe still with a bit to do buffalo river with globe up on the inside there a gap gentlemen roy cosmic vega and then pinstripe from a long way back still buffalo river 150 meters to go staving off globe mighty ulysses is coming from the clouds buffalo river getting tired mighty ulysses over the top and got it Mighty Ulysses won the last from Buffalo River. Photo third, pinstripe globe, then Fearson. Next, gentlemen, Roy Cosmic Vega dashing and pin, and then out deeper on the track, Zechariah. Air assault, ain't no deal done. Coast watch, Aegon, Ripcord, and the Pendragon. So a big day for Annabelle Nisham and Rob Archibald. And guys, Jamie Mott had two late scratchings today, one at the barrier. So it's a good way to finish for him, Richo. Uh, and especially, well, look at that Rye. Look at the overhead vision there. He's probably about sixth horse at the moment. He's refusing to go around the horses. He's going to get through the gap, burst through, and Lizzie comes over the top. Buffalo River was trying to win the race for the third time and gets nabbed in the shadows of the post as a nine-year-old. Yeah, what a performance from him. I actually really liked the way that he was prepping into this run. I asked Annabelle yesterday whether he was going to be able to perform this way and she gave him a nice tick and I was watching him all the way throughout weaving that pattern.